In today's video, we're going to talk about transcutaneous pacing. Of the primary modes on the Lifepack 20, transcutaneous pacing is the function that is probably least frequently used. Pacing is performed on unstable patients in bradycardic rhythms. Before we get started, it should be noted that this patient must have both the defibrillator pads as well as the included 3-lead ECG cable attached. Go ahead and turn on your monitor. Unlike synchronized cardioversion and defibrillation, all of the pacing functions are present in this green box. After activating the pacer function, the first pop-up window will prompt me to enter a rate at which pacing will occur. I'll use the jog wheel to raise this rate to 80 pulses per minute. You should choose a pacing rate that is within normal limits for this patient's age. I'll press the jog wheel to move to the next screen. On the next screen, I'll increase the milliamperage to begin pacing this patient. As I increase the current, you'll notice the presence of pacer spikes. Pacing is not successful until a pacer spike immediately precedes a QRS complex. Once this occurs, we have what is known as electrical capture. I've always been taught to then increase the milliamperage by another 10 to ensure that capture continues. I'll then press the jog wheel to exit this screen. At this point, I will confirm the presence of a pulse that matches my paced rate. If the pulse matches the rate that I've set the pacer, mechanical capture has been achieved. Alternatively, pacing can also be performed without using the jog wheel. I'll activate the pacer function and then use the right or left side of the rate button to set the rate at which I want to perform pacing. I'll then press the left or right side of the current button to begin delivering energy. I'll continue increasing the current until I achieve electrical capture. Once I see this occur, I'll increase the milliamperage 10 more. I will check a pulse to determine whether or not mechanical capture has been achieved. The current window will disappear on its own in a few seconds. Because we have successfully paced this patient, it is imperative that you do not turn the pacer off. Any additional changes to the current or rate can be performed by simply pressing those appropriate buttons. Mm -hmm. 